Hey guys, I decided to make a new tutorial today for Zebra, of course. No, not of course, but it's for Zebra. Um, and it's kind of a heavier sound than uh, what I normally do, but um, I think you'll like it. I'll, I'll let it play first, it comes in right here. So yeah, it's that um, intro sound, intro stab, and I already um, bounced it down to audio for CPU uh, savings, since, since I get a lot of tracks in this project. But um, of course I saved it as a preset, and this is what it sounds like by itself. So it's a pretty nice sound and um, it's also a very easy sound to make because it's just one oscillator and one filter. Um, let's see how to go about this. Let me just... Okay, so this is the original sound. Um, I'm gonna make it uh, again, but then with a new oscillator. So you don't, you don't have to make these two. I'm just gonna... Uh, copy down what I did because this way I can easily see um, which settings I chose so the oscillator is gonna be on let's see oh, this is gonna be so basic it's the most basic oscillator and then you're gonna put the tuning down and then you're gonna give it an envelope on the tuning envelope where are you there and that's set to 36, so three octaves, 36. Um, I fix one expander, I fix, it's a really cool one. Always use it, don't, don't even think about it, just, just, just use it every, on every sound, it's cool. Sync, a lot of sync. Turn it on, and then all the way up, reset off, um, invert of key scaling the same. And leave it on single. Well, I think that's already it for the oscillator. And then for the filter, what did I do there? <laughs> Nothing pretty much. <laughs> I, okay. Ah, uh, I see where the, where the magic comes from. It's the um, envelope, and I used the um, this loop decay uh, portion of the envelope. Is that a, is that a word portion? The stage, the loop decay. I don't know. Anyway, um, I I got another video explaining a little bit more about what this is. You can check it out on um, adsrsounds.com or uh, through YouTube. But what you have to do is if if I take a new, if I make a new envelope, for example, envelope uh, three, because two is already used for the tuning. Uh, I'll copy this down, um, because this is how it's gonna, how you're gonna see it when you first open it up. And then you click here, you do a right click, and then you choose loop decay. You make it very small. I set it to three, and this is, this is kind of um, it matters a lot um, the, the settings that you that you uh, choose here. You have to be a little bit careful, and then the fall rise is minor minus a hundred. And once again, if you don't understand uh, what this is about, check uh, check the other video about zero envelopes. And then we got the decay at four point five. And then, and so envelope two is pretty basic. Just copy this down, nothing special there. And now it should sound the same. Yeah, pretty much. 
pretty much does. And the one other thing I did is in the global effects, add a reverb. I think you you heard that already. And I think this might be the this the plain old standard reverb. Oh oh no, you have to uh, you have to pre delay and range down. And this range one that's important too. Um, yes, yeah, see that's very important. This is such a cool knob to experiment with and you have to be careful and uh, pop, pop a limiter on your on your master but if you pull the range down to zero it, it, you're gonna get this massive reverb bass kind of sound and you can do the same for the pre delay <laughs> that's the difference okay so that one is important and then after that um, a shaper just on wedge depth 24 edge 75 and that's it that's the whole sound very easy so once again you don't have to make two oscillators that was just my demonstration just you got just one oscillator one filter the reverb uh, which adds the magic and the shaper the shaper is kind of a distortion device you can tr choose between four and uh, most of the time I choose to wedge but um, the normal shape also cool crush a little bit more uh, noise noisy but we have to uh, get into that another time oh sorry I forgot the glide you can use the glide if you play multiple notes like that um, that's it thanks for watching um, enjoy and, um, and and come up with some new ideas uh, for example with uh, with the reverb range also let me know when you when you find some cool tricks uh, thanks again bye